the last class we have discussed about pressure and we have discussed also about some instruments or some devices which were used to measure the pressure and we have discussed the how the various factors or the parameters depend upon the pressure or how pressure depend on these parameters now we will discuss about the pressure that is exerted by fluid in fluid we commonly include liquid and gases so when any object is immersed in liquid the liquid exerts an upward force on that object likewise if we have a beaker that is completely filled with water and it has an object immersed in it then this liquid will exert an upward force on this object this upward force that is exerted by liquid on that object is known as buoyant force and this upward force determines that whether the object that is immersed in liquid will float or sink but the pressure that we are talking about also depends upon the height this beaker is filled with water and two holes are marked in this beaker these two holes are marked at different height so we can see that the hole which is lower at lower part has the spreading out of water much more in comparison to above hole so pressure in liquid increases with the depth it is so because the greater weight of the liquid above exerts the pressure similarly if we take another beaker that is also filled with some liquid now in this beaker we have marked holes at four places but these holes which are marked at different places are at the same height they don't possess any height difference so the water seeping out these through these holes is same so these two figures shows that pressure has dependency on the height because in above case the height of the holes differs so the water which is coming out those three holes is also different and in this second case we have four holes at the same height and the water that is coming out through these holes is same pressure is dependent on height can also be visualized by another experiment also like in this case we will take four cases in this four beakers we will set a thistle funnel and this thistle funnel will be set it in different positions in all four cases in these four cases we have set a thistle funnel in different positions and these are filled with some liquid material that is common in all these four the height of liquid is also same in all these four cases as we see that the mouth of the thistle funnel in these four cases is either upwards or downwards or sideways we have considered all four positions 
and when we connect a nano uh, nano meter to this panel we will observe that the pressure in all these four cases is identical means it is not changing so according to this experiment the pressure which is exerted by the liquid does not depend that how the funnel or how the manometer is set up it only depends upon the height and we have already said that the funnel is placed at the same height irrespective of its position now we will discuss about pascal's law pascal's law defines the pressure and it was given by french physicist belisical pascal according to this law the pressure that is exerted at any point on an enclosed liquid is transmitted equally in all directions throughout the liquid we will prove this law by experiment also to prove the pascal's law that pr pressure is transmitted equally in all the directions throughout the liquid if it is enclosed we will take a u tube the u tube that we have taken has equal sized limbs means the both limbs are equal in size and the level of the liquid which is filled is also same in both the limbs now we have kept a weight of 1 kg on one side of this piston as the piston as the weight is kept on the piston we will observe that the piston starts moving in the downward direction and the other piston starts moving in the upward direction the upward movement of the other piston stops only when 1 kg of weight is also kept on that piston so if we keep a weight of 1 kg on this piston then the movement of this piston in the upward direction also stops so this shows that the pressure applied at one end in the water contained in the u tube is transmitted to equally in all directions so this was the pascal's law and here we complete our pressure